So, Olivier, usability is a key factor for our customers, correct? Yes, absolutely. You know, we live in the digital era and uh, the new generation uses a lot of digital technology. They use touchscreens, smartphones, tablets. They are always connected. They don't want to read manuals. They just want simplicity. And that's precisely our goal, no? simplifying everything so they can focus on printing. Okay, and what are we doing about it in our new HP Latex 300 printers? Well, the very first thing we've done is designing a new touchscreen user interface, uh, easier to use with full color screen, very similar to the smartphones and tablets that we use. So no more buttons? No, uh, actually, uh, besides the touchscreen, uh, we have also the whole software that is very simple, very intuitive, we know operators change frequently, so no need for special training. Are we still showing instructions in the control panel? Yes, we do. Well, in case it's needed, operators can see instructions and animations on the front panel, but we've gone beyond. Uh, we also have QR codes that link to videos that the operator can see on their smartphones to get help. Wow, that's very cool. So, I also heard the printers are now web connected. What is this for, exactly? Well, remember, uh, we live in the digital era, so everything is connected. So first and more basic, you can get free software upgrades. And second, most important, you can also access from the printer to the media profile that HP publishes on the media locator. So no need to create special media profiles, so it saves a lot of time. I see, so this means that if I have a new media, I can search it in the media locator and just download it automatically into the printer? Yes, so once it's downloaded, you can also adjust uh, the media profile. So you can uh, um, put more or less ink, you can select more passes, you can use four color instead of six. So that really depends on what your job requires. That's very easy, nobody can say any longer that printing on HP Latex printers is complex. No, no, that, that was exactly our goal. No? So, but it would be good you talk with Alan. Uh, there are many things that we've done with RIP vendors to make the experience even easier. Okay, more things. So, hey, Alan, Alan, what do we have done? How are you doing? Well, I've got a couple of new words for you. Have you heard about Comton and Halfton? Are you kidding? I always wonder who puts these names. So what is this? So let me try and explain. So contone and halftone refer to the processing techniques that uh, transform the digital image into the printed dots on the paper. And that's done by a raster image processor, or a RIP. And that can be done in two ways. So if the printer is halftone, the RIP manages the process and all the control points. And to give you an idea, that can be a bit like trying to get into a Formula One car. It's got a lot of buttons, a lot of dials, a lot of controls, and it's not easy. So that can turn into errors, suboptimal performance, it can create waste, it can create a waste of time. So in the third generation of the latex printers, what we've done is move to Comtone. And in a Comtone printer, the printer can handle many of the steps that a RIP would do in a traditional halftone printer. So that makes it much easier for the operator. So instead of the more complex Formula One interface, now you have something a bit more like a PlayStation controller. Mm -hmm. It's a lot simpler. You can still drive, but it's much easier to handle. You still have all the control that you need, it's just that the printer is doing some of the more complex things for you, like figuring out how much optimizer to put down depending on the media you have. I see, and I guess this connects with the media profiles that Olivier was talking about. Exactly, so the, in a content printer, the media profiles from the media locator are universal, so you can use them across any RIP. And the RIP also processes faster because the printer is doing a lot of the work for it. What about color management? Is there any difference? So in color management, yes, we, we have made a step forward. So the uh, in a Comton printer, color management is a lot simpler. So you can still manage color from the RIP, but we let the printer handle the complex color transformation steps and optimize those for our technology. Also, the 360 has an embedded spectra photometer, and the 330 and the 310 have an embedded densitometer. And both of these sensors are used to calibrate and control color automatically so you don't have any output color variations. And what's the difference between the two of them? So the embedded densitometer on the 330 and the 310 is a color sensor. It's used to calibrate color, and that's essential if you want to get consistent color between prints. The printer will print a calibration pattern, and then the sensor will scan that pattern, and then the printer can then apply a correction if there's anything wrong, and you get the best color output. The same thing happens with the 360. It has an embedded spectra photometer. It does exactly the same function, but it also lets the user generate an automatic ICC profile. And that's essential if you want to hit exactly the right colors for your print job. It's also very useful if you have multiple printers to calibrate those to the same target. Then you can do the same job on any printer and hit the exact same colors. 
Okay, that's very good. So let me see if I get it all. So we have now printers that are very easy and intuitive to use, that also work, are web connected, so I can download automatically the media profiles, mm -hmm. and they are very accurately managing the color and the color calibrations. Is that right? Yes. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Yeah, that you got was it. very useful. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Alan and Thank Olivia. You're welcome. Okay. Bye.